Being a man means one thing. And it's that you're willing to stop at nothing in your pursuit of personal development, in your pursuit of self-discovery, in your pursuit of becoming the greatest version of yourself and giving that man to the world. You're willing to stop at nothing. You're willing to sacrifice everybody's opinions of you. You're willing to sacrifice the opinions of your closest friends, of the people that love you, because you know that you can't fully give to them until you have fully given to yourself. No matter what the fuck they think about you right now while you're building yourself, you are willing to take that in order to provide for yourself and to provide for them. It means stopping at absolutely nothing. Giving, being, being willing to give up everything and every fucking buddy. You have to be completely ruthless. You have to be completely ruthless if you want to be able... Life as a man, and we don't talk about it, is enough. We don't talk about it enough. Life as a man is supposed to be fucking brutal. And if it is not brutal, then you are not living it fully. You are sacrificing on your growth. And I always choose growth over stick, over sticking to the current level of development. I always twist. I would never stick. I'm always seeking that next step. And I'll give up anything to get to it because success is a subtractive process. Since I started this journey in 2022, I got completely off the drugs, completely off the Coke, completely off the Zans. I've stopped drinking. I don't do any drugs. I was, I was a full-on addict at the time I started this journey. I got completely off all that. I cut off all my friends. I, I, I moved to a new city where I don't know anybody. I packed all my shit up by myself. Moved my ass down here because I knew that I needed a completely different environment to completely reform my thoughts. Because I look at this shit like no matter what anybody sees, I really believe that I'm going to be the one that breaks that fucking cycle for my family. I really believe that I'm going to come back stronger. I really believe that I'm going to stop all this shit. Like, you got to be a little bit delusional. You got to be a lot fucking delusional. And you really got to believe it. It's not enough to just fucking say it. You got to have a strong emotional backing behind it. Success does not... Re Success responds to a definite plan backed by faith. Strong emotional backing. I'm not willing, I, I'm not willing to stop at anything. Bro, I'm cranking out thousands of fucking push-ups, but fuck me. Cause this shit isn't about me. And that's the way I look at it. Because it used to be all about me. It used to be all about me. It used to be, I don't feel good today, so I'm going to pop some Xanax. It used to be, I don't feel good today, so I'm not going to get up at this 4 a.m. wake up. Nothing is about me anymore. And I've realized that the more I stop looking at me, the more my life improves. You know how fucking backwards it is? And this is not to say... This is not to say that you should do some fake ass, put other people in front of you type shit. You always come first because you are the vessel behind all this shit. 
you are the vessel behind all this shit. So you got to keep yourself in tip top shape mentally and physically. But it just means you don't even do it for yourself at the end of the day. You're following that, that, that call to your conscience, which is the authentic voice of God, right? This shit is about fucking God or whatever the fuck you want to call it. This shit is about fucking God. This shit is about your fucking family. This shit is about making the world a better place. Not even on some corny shit. This shit is about, you know, fucking eternal life. You got to be willing to give up everything and everyone. Anything that is temporary must be gone. Fellas, we really got to start stepping into that masculine role. We really need to start doing it because it's not taught nowadays enough. But becoming a man in today's day and age, while it is increasingly rare to see true men out here, it is becoming increasingly valuable to become a real man in everything you do. The thing about being a man is it's like, it's like a spectrum. It's like an ideal that we all should be striving for, an ideal of perfection. Motherfuckers say, well, you can't be perfect. Why can't I be perfect? Balance is a limiting belief. I can't be perfect when it comes to the shit that I can't control, but I can be perfect when it comes to my thoughts and my habits, reforming my self-image time and time again in order to become the greatest version of myself. I can be fucking ruthless in that. Why the fuck can't I be? In the biggest cap nowadays is that that is going to destroy your life. Becoming this tough guy is going to destroy your life, right? Wrong, wrong. I tell you now, <laughs> I don't even know where the fuck my rent money's gonna come from. I'm wearing the same clothes every day. My shoes have fucking holes in them. I can't afford to go get a haircut. I can't afford to go get a beard trim. And I'm not complaining. I never would. Because what the fuck is the point? I'm just telling you, I'm willing to go through everything and I'm still more fulfilled in this shit. I'm still more fulfilled. Look at me. Do I look like I'm, I'm vibing low? This is the highest I've ever fucking vibrated in my life. When shit is at the absolute roughest, I get stronger. When shit was easy for me, I couldn't take it. Stress tolerance is completely relative. Stress tolerance is completely relative. But you gotta be willing to give up everything and everyone. The big thing I see with you guys that I don't believe in a lot of you. I, I really do not have faith in a lot of you. It's because you operate under conditions. Real men operate under intentions. You have the intention. You will do anything for it. You will be a fucking savage for it. You will reform your whole identity. You will go through fucking hell to get what you set out to. You are constantly in overdrive, not overdrive in a false sense of working myself to death. Every, every, every man knows that he has to recharge, but how do you spend your time recharging? Do you use it constructively or do you use it destructively? Every moment, every single moment is a test of your character. 
It's a test of if of are you are are you who you really think you are? Are you who you really say you are? Every moment is either a test or it's going to be a celebration. And I'll tell you what, when those moments of celebration come, they don't even have to be external. That validation comes so far internally when you have just completely passed the call of your conscience and you get that overflow of internal validation that comes thereafter because you know nothing can fucking stop you and you're telling yourself that. That's the greatest moment you could ever experience and don't let anybody tell you shit what shit otherwise. It's not about that 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 big house at the end. It's not about it's not about the money. It's not about getting that woman. It's not about any of that. It's about when you have completely followed the call of your conscience in everything and you've determined that nothing could stop you. You've completely reformed your whole self image. You've reformed your identity and you have stopped at nothing. No obstacle has ever stopped you. It may have knocked you off course, but it never stopped you. No opinion of another person had stopped you. You lost everybody and everything and you continued going. When you get that moment of internal validation, when you have met all the conditions of your future self, the future self that you have envisioned, and you have met every single one of those conditions that you could possibly fulfill up until this point, that is when you can truly live in the present moment. Motherfuckers will tell you that presence, in order to be present, we have to stop thinking about the future so much. Well, you can't always be working. You can't always be a man. Yes, motherfucker, I can because every moment is a test or a celebration. And right now you're trying to test me. Don't knock me off my fucking course. I'm purpose driven. Every moment is a fucking test. Each task is a mirage and necessity. That's not, I'm not hitting this 4 a.m. wake up for me. I'm hitting it for my future self, the future self that puts on for my family, the future self that is killing it in all aspects, the future self that has made this world a better place and fucking inspired men to change their fucking lives because that's what the fuck I needed. So I'm not doing this shit for myself. I am, but I'm not. Most of your life, you're going to spend actualizing self, self-actualization. And then once you get there, it'll be straight self-transcendence. But for now, me and you, we are in a phase of self-actualization. We must stop at nothing to get to know ourselves. We must cut out all vices, everybody and everything. We must be willing to stop at nothing. And guess what? This shit might never work out. but I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I believe if you have definite plans backed by a definiteness of purpose, nothing can stop you. And I say definite, I don't say that shit lightly. I mean, you really gotta believe this shit. You really gotta believe that nothing will stop you. And if you have that mindset, you will accomplish the things that you set out to do. But even if you don't, it doesn't matter because you get that validation from within that you stopped at nothing. If you're really being honest to yourself and not just saying that you're working, you're really thinking. Thinking is the hardest job known to man. That's why so few do it. You're really thinking, is this what I need to be doing with this time? Every moment is either constructive or destructive. When you have envisioned your future, you have envisioned that man. Stop thinking about the, stop thinking about the vision. Stop, stop, stop thinking about the physical reality. Start thinking about how you're going to feel when you're at that moment in time. Start thinking about what that man operates like. 
Stop, stop thinking so much about the physical, you know, the money, the surface level shit. Start thinking about the man because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. When you could just walk into a room and you could feel like you are the coldest motherfucker because you know that nothing could stop you. You've done everything. You've given up everything to get to that point. Start thinking about that because once you realize that, you will realize every moment is either constructive or destructive towards that. And constructive doesn't have to mean that we're working ourselves to death. We're aggrandizing ourselves by pushing way past our current boundaries. It means that we're just constantly pushing that boundary, constantly pushing that, that, that stress tolerance because your stress tolerance is your ceiling for success constantly pushing past that, constantly testing our boundaries, constantly living at our edge, constantly reforming our identity. Our identity, our self-image is fluent. We determine where it goes because it's our survival mechanism. And our self-image is what we're really seeking to create anyways. Your self-image creates your reality, internally and externally. The world is not as it is, the world is as you are. But being a man means you will be willing to go through a thousand different iterations of yourself in order to continue to grow. You never stop until the day that you fucking die. Is it painful? Yes. Is it fulfilling way more than you could ever fucking believe? Let that shit sink in a little bit.